Actually, regarding the Belfield project, and I uh, just would like to update the town board on it a little bit, and, as well as the public. Uh, and most uh, most people who have lived in town will remember that there was a uh, a project proposed for the 300 and some acres across from the culinary back in uh, the early 2000s, and they approved a concept plan um, in 2007 that included a very extensive uh, development of that parcel. And uh, um, I think we all know what happened in 2008, so uh, uh, the project died, and uh, but has been resurrected by T-Rex Capital, and they have um, uh, come in and talked with us a little bit and submitted a pre-application request uh, with a um, subdivision and site plan application for a hotel. And it's simply just that, just the hotel, the uh, other parts of the concept plan are not being put forward at this point, but we are um, looking forward to working with the uh, T-Rex people. And, um, you know, this project, it was uh, as anyone who lived uh, here during that time. It, it was a number of years of, uh, of discussions and that were involved in the final approval. And it was pretty um, uh, interesting and ambitious. And one of the uh, attendant uh, issues with the, the project is that uh, through the seeker process, there was a, um, an agreement that there would be mitigation for uh, the project because they will be developing uh, a sewer system that will make it very difficult for the town center to compete with businesses that have a central sewer, sewer system. So there was a, a pro through a process they agreed on a certain uh, level of mitigation for that, um, that possibility. So uh, that is part of the concept plan that was uh, approved and uh, we will be talking with them uh, about that. So I just wanted to give everyone an, an update, and I don't know if anyone has any comments on that. Or I, uh, I read the article. I was uh, extremely excited. I'm um, excited to uh, be able to see some sort of movement down there, and I'm really looking forward to, if I have the opportunity to sit down with developers and, and talk about a sewer concept, and you know maybe this could be an opportunity where uh, you know we can put all these pieces together that we've all been working on, especially you and Emily, over the past five or six years. and. You know, hopefully we can put these pieces together and uh, get some pipe in the ground. That's great. Dave, that's your ward, so... Uh, He's my ward, and I've seen a lot of different projects over the years proposed down there, and uh, it's always been pie in the sky, but uh, hopefully this is serious, and, uh, you know, we're open for business in Hyde Park, but we do need some help uh, with that plan, as you mentioned, uh, to help us with the sewer system, and uh, getting money for that would certainly help uh, even things out. Uh, but I wish them luck and uh, willing to work with them. Yeah, look forward to seeing what comes next. Okay. Yeah, me also. Okay, great. Alrighty, so um, I may have them move on on the agenda. Um, may I have a motion to accept the minutes of January 23rd? Make a motion. And a second? Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, and then we have. Um, 14 resolutions on the agenda and two to be added um, uh, that were rather uh, late in arriving at the town clerk's desk. So uh, we will be looking for, I will be looking for a motion to add uh, resolution 213-15 uh, authorizing the town clerk to solicit bids for the Hyde Park New York State Route 9 pedestrian improvements. Uh, Route 9 Redesign Transportation Assistance Program project and for GPI Engineering to advertise the project on the New York State Contract Reporter site. I make a motion. And a second. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And then the uh, additional, the uh, number 16, authorizing payment to Delaware Engineering for services rendered in advance of contract for the steering committee meeting to be held on February 14th. Make a motion. And second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, great. So um, we do have uh, just one meeting this month in February because of the holiday. And so um, uh, at this meeting, we can have public comment on any of the resolutions or any matter of town business. So if you would like to comment on any resolution, please join, uh, join us at the podium. Okay. Doesn't look like we have any, so uh, 
So we'll just uh, keep on moving through the agenda then. All right, resolution 213-1 of 2017, resolution authorizing the town supervisor to execute a municipal consolidation and shared service grant agreement with the County of Dutchess, Nunc Pro Tunk, to October 1st, 2016. Second. And Owen Baker. Aye. Aye. And this is a, a great project that we applied for last year um, for uh, replacing our high mileage police patrol vehicles uh, and we were awarded 75,000 and we're purchasing two cars. That's that's that. Yeah. That would be two cars. Two cars and um, nice. we also are turning lemons into lemonade because one of our vehicles was hit um, late last year and we were uh, had replacement value yeah. uh, and so we are getting an additional $40,000 so we're going to be able to buy three cars. And we're going to be taking two out of service? Yes. Okay. So, um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 213-2 of 2017. Resolution approving budget revisions to the Town of Hyde Park for the period of December 2016. Budget revisions number 2016-12. Wait, is that supposed to say December? Yes. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah, they, this is the closing of the books. Oh. Yeah. And so there are all the final adjustments for the year. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I'm glad you're watching. Yeah, you're <laughs> so uh, is there a second? Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 213-3 of 2017, resolution approving budget revisions to the Town of Hyde Park for the period of January 2017, budget revisions number 2017-01. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. And, and that's 2017. Resolution 213-4 two, of 2017, resolution approving the fiscal advisor for fiscal, for fiscal year 2017. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 213-5 of 2017, resolution renewing the town's procurement policy. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 213-6 of 2017, resolution adopting a fee schedule for the Town of High Park Recreation Department for 2017. And, okay. and all in favor? Aye. 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 So uh, just to let everyone know that we're um, still refining the 2017 fee schedule, but we decided to pass the Rex uh, fee schedules for the Kathleen Park that a brochure printed. Mm -hmm. But there, there will be further revisions to the remaining parts of the fee schedule uh, at the next meeting. Resolution 213-7 of 2017, resolution authorizing an amendment to the current lease agreement between New York Communications Company, Inc. and the Town of Hyde Park. Second. And the uh, reason for this is that we have uh, just installed um, court officers to run the metal detector, yeah. and they both need a new radios. So call in favor? Aye. Aye. Glad we got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to work out great. Safe. Resolution 213-8 of 2017, resolution authorizing the town supervisor to execute an agreement between the town of Hyde Park and the Hyde Park President's Youth Football and Cheerleading Program for the term January 1st, 2017 through December 31st, 2017. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 213-9 of 2017, resolution authorizing Justice Clerk Jessica Edwards to carry over accrued vacation time. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 213-10 of 2017, resolution reappointing Susan Egan to the Town of Hyde Park Board of Ethics. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 213-11 of 2017, resolution appointing Ann Weiser of a, as an alternate member of the Town of Hyde Park Planning Board. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And we have Ann in the audience, so thank you so much thank for you. volunteering. Thank you. Thank we look you. forward to your participation. Appreciate Resolution 213-12 of 2017, resolution proclaiming the month of April 2017 as Parkinson Awareness Month. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Resolution 213-13 of 2017, resolution authorizing the release of the balance of escrow from the erosion and sediment control and flood development control projects listed below. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 
Resolution 213-14 of 2017. Resolution authorizing Morris Associates, the engineer for the town, to prepare the bid document for the proposal dated February 10, 2017, to repair the South Drive Bridge in High Park. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 213-15 of 2017. Resolution authorizing the town clerk to solicit bids for the Hyde Park, New York State Route 9 Pedestrian Improvements, Route 9 Redesign Transportation Assistance Program project and for GPI Engineering to advertise the project on the New York State Contract Reporter site. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Again, this is yeah, the yeah. TAC project. And just want to let everybody know that we're going to be taking trees down on Route 9 uh, um, between the drive-in and Park Plaza um, at the well, probably the last week of March. But not to worry that we're replacing them with even better trees mm -hmm. and better Im improved landscaping. That's fantastic. Nice. And this is the last resolution for this evening. It's Resolution 213-16 of 2017. Resolution authorizing payment to Delaware Engineering for service rendered in advance of contract for the steering committee meeting to be held on February 14th, 2017. Second. And all in favor? Aye. Uh, can I just explain yes. that? Would they, would you? Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Yeah, so we had uh, selected Delaware Engineering to, um, to be our contractor for the um, NYSERDA funded project, which includes designing a sewer system for the um, center of town and also doing um, some other planning and, and zoning updates. Um, and we were all ready to sign a contract with them and uh, come to find out that NYSERDA never got around to extending our contract with them, which we need to have in place in order to contract with Delaware Engineering. Um, and NYSERDA's been a bit difficult to, uh, to, to get in touch with, but I want to just give a shout out to Assemblymember Dee Dee Barrett's staff who we reached out to them and said, can you help us because we're just not getting service out of the state agency. And they jumped right on the phone and, um, you know, got some attention and <laughs> we got a call back immediately and got everything straightened out. That's so fantastic. we are going to have our, um, our extension in place within a few weeks, um, but we didn't want to hold the project up. So we're just going to pay Delaware in advance and then we'll get um, that reimbursed once we get the contract back underway. So that's where we're at. Thank you. Great, thank you. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, so just a couple other um, things and uh, we get some accolades here. Um, we recently received a letter from um, Steve Wilcha up from the Hyde Park Fire District and, and <coughs> asking to recognize the number of personnel for their quick actions in saving a 58-year-old male uh, on Tuesday, January 31st at the Hyde Park Post Office. Um, and what happened is they, uh, a 50-year-old man had a medical emergency in a vehicle causing him to hit another vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, he went into cardiac arrest and uh, a number of people from these various agencies uh, pulled together and were able to save his life. So we definitely very appreciative of all uh, that our um, emergency responders do for us as a community and for each other and so from the Hyde Park Fire Department it was the Chief Steve Wilcha, uh, Deputy Chief Craig Elderkin, Fire Captain Chris Beyer, um, from the Roosevelt Rescue Squad, uh, Captain William Marshall, uh, Nick Trio, and from the Hyde Park Police Department, Jackie Tucker, Sean Phillips, and Thomas Mirabella, and from the Northern Duchess Paramedic, um, Jean Scott. So thank you and, and great work and that's why we love our hometown uh, emergency responders. It's really very, very nice. And then just finally, um, wanted to recognize our fantastic highway department. They did an awesome job over the last uh, um, five or six days out there all hours of the night plowing, uh, as well as the police who um, are on call 24 hours, and uh, especially to uh, uh, Rich Decker um, and Randy, who are our rec employees, and they spend a lot of time um, shoveling. And you know, uh, it's interesting because I, I have had a lot of, or some pushback from property owners on Route 9 who are uh, upset that the town is requiring them to shovel the sidewalks. And, you know, I feel strongly that if you're part of a community and you have, you gain, you 
benefit by being part of a community, that you own commercial, commercial property, that there's a responsibility that goes with that. And so the clearing of sidewalks goes with it. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I know that uh, uh, some people find that difficult, uh, but, you know, it's just part of being part of the, the Hyde Park community. And I, I think that the, the sidewalks overall look really very, very good this year. And I'm very grateful and appreciative of uh, all the businesses and property owners and uh, the employees of the town that are doing it. A lot of work. It really is. And snow makes life a lot harder. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so, I don't know if anyone else has I, any... I oh, sure, Jeff. Um, I just wanted to, because this is getting close now. Um, I've been working with Sheila Bogan from Relay for Life. Okay. Um, moving it, cause this year it's not going to be at the Dutchess County Fairgrounds like it usually is. We're moving it to Hyde Park. Okay. Um, and uh, it's actually going to be at the FDR High School this year. And it's going to be on uh, June 3rd from 12 to 10. Mm -hmm. um, but I wanted to bring up that the kickoff meeting is March 16th with an RSVP of March 1st. And that's going to be actually at the um, New York State Park Taconic Regional Headquarters. And that's from 6 to 8. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so... So, what, so what, uh, what exactly happens at the Relay for Life, do you know? Or? Yeah, the, what, they're, what they're doing is this year it's not going to be a sleepover, it's not going to be camping, it's just going to be, as I said, the 12 to 10. Um, but there's going to be um, vendors there, activities going on, there's going to be the, the luminary walk, um, there's going to be, um, you know, the, uh, the people's te teams, the kickoff meeting actually is to get teams because they really want to increase the, the number of teams this year uh, because some teams have dropped off with the change. So do they walk the track and then yeah. people sponsor them? Kind of yeah, like they, they, they're, they, yeah they sponsor, um, they walk the track and people donate money. And uh, as I said, they work in teams. There's gotta be, there should be someone walking the track the whole time. Um, through the whole, throughout the whole day. Yeah. Do they have a website or anything? Do you know? Um, yeah, they do. Um, actually, uh, it's... Uh, I, I'm going to give out a number here because you have to RSVP for this kickoff and that's okay. where it's best. Okay, sure. Um, the number is 845-440-2523 um, or you can um, send a note to Sheila.bogan, B-O-G-A-N, at cancer.org. Okay. Okay, and that, that's the website too. That, oh, well that's great. Thanks, I think they're going to be the sponsor of the chamber. This yes. Well, are they? Yeah, they're speaking in yeah. the chamber this month. Oh, good. Yeah, there's going to be a big push on teams, getting teams. So anyway, That's a lot, lot going on. Good. Bring it to Hyde Park. Yeah. And on uh, March 16th, the uh, fireside chat is at the St. James Chapel, and that's the um, program uh, a river at risk that's being put on by the river keepers. So I think that starts at 7 p.m. on this coming Thursday. Is that February? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's February. Thursday. Yeah. yeah, and Dave will be there. Yep. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, good. Yeah. And I'm sure, well, I'll be attending the State of the County at the Culinary. Yeah, and that's great. I'm Actually, I have a family obligation, yeah, so, so I'll, I'll be there. Send them my regards. I will. Okay? Yep. Cover. Great. Thanks. I got a word. Oh, oh sure. No, about sidewalks. <laughs> I just want to thank the zoning for yes. for issuing 22 summonses for sidewalks <laughs> not being done. So I think the word got out. We're going to enforce the law equally. And everybody has to apply by it. There was a um, in the Poughkeepsie Journal today. They were talking about the storm, and a woman on her way to work at I think at H and R Block uh, had a shovel with her and cleared some of the some walks in Poughkeepsie because there's some a lot of vacant uh, commercial property in Poughkeepsie. And last year, a few years ago, I guess she slipped and fell and broke her wrist. So she carried salt with her, which was kind of nice. But we don't expect the citizens to be doing that. But just the property owners to uh, to keep it clean. That applies to everybody, you know. And uh, well, it's uh, definitely an effort on that, that's uh, been undertaken by our zoning administrator. We appreciate that. But okay. Thank the Boy Scouts for being here. Yeah, I got the Boy Scouts here.